product here today with the RL Deputy Company. Uh, today we're conducting a startup on PBI turbo, uh, turbo power gas water heater. Uh, first thing is, uh, you got your product form. Um, make sure you fill out all your product information. Uh, first thing it's going to ask you for is uh, all the pertinent information about the water heater. Your tag is listed right here on the water heater. Record all this information down. Do uh, visual inspection. Um, there's going to be several questions that are asked. Make sure you answer everything on the form correctly. Uh, make any notations of anything that may uh, not be correct uh, prior to startup. And then, of course, obviously, um, the safety issue. Um, you may want to consult with the contractor before you uh, proceed with your startup. So, uh, make sure you look at uh, our bedding, our piping, our drains. Make sure everything is per the IO manual. Um, Contract did a great job here today installing this. Uh, the equipment looks wonderful. Everything is piped correctly. Um, no issues today, so it's going to look real nice. A um, couple basic things. So we'll start out with uh, our full front cover here. Yeah, we'll get all the information recorded. Coming to the front uh, control panel here, and you'll see our electrical strip. I uh, want to make sure all of our connections are nice and tight in here. And then uh, on the left hand side, uh, we want to make sure that we check our power here at the bottom. Make sure we have our 120 volt supply here. Uh, rocker switches are off right now. Everything is off. So we did do all that, verify all that. So we've already done our startup. We're just kind of walking through everything uh, that we did here today. i uh, to give you guys a basic uh, rundown of uh, what uh, what is involved here with the startup. So uh, we went through that. Uh, next thing we would do is we would come over uh, to our main gas, turn on our main gas supply. And uh, we have a little bit hooked up, so we want to look at our static pressure and record our static pressure. Uh, so we've done that, and the uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, basically uh, got everything recorded. We're going to go ahead and we're going to power it up. And uh, our display comes up. We're going to power up our water contact here. Right now our burner's off. We're going to make sure our burner's on before we can fire this. Well, so uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna to turn this on. And the water heater is uh, on because right now our set point is 140 and we're below our set point. Uh, we dump the water down a little bit to get that water temperature down. We've been running this for a little while today. But we're going to go through our procedure here. Typically, what I'll do is I'll just set this thing here. So I'll turn. I've got my manometer hooked up here as well. What we're going to look for is we're going to look for our pilot pressure, which comes off of this guy right here. Our pilot pressure needs to be two inches here. If we're uh, above or below, we'll take the screw out. We'll adjust the regulator. You can see we're running a little bit low on our pressure. We may have to readjust that uh, change a little bit. We verified that. We've got pilot, screw pilot. We'll go ahead and turn on our main gas. And what we want to look for here is about uh, three and a half inches. Uh, again, the converter and the manifold. A little below, so again, we'll probably come in and recheck that again. Uh, and up a little bit higher. So we're three and a half there, and then we also want you to record uh, the gas pressure. We want to maintain a negative 0 0.02 to 0 0.06 draft uh, here, so we set up here a metric uh, to maintain that draft here. We got our draft gauge hooked up. Once we've done that, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put our draft gauge down, and uh, we'll put our push analyzer in the bowl. We'll start our analyzer, and uh, again, uh, we'll put the IO manual. Where we'd like uh, the settings to be your CO2, CO2, uh, CO, your food gas temperature. Uh, NOx isn't going to be critical on this because we're not a high efficiency uh, water heater, so we're not concerned about the NOx level. Just making sure everything's within range. Um, so, once we have our gas pressure set, if we're not within range, if our O2 and our CO is not within range, we're going to go ahead and we're going to loosen this uh, yellow screw here, and we're going to adjust our air cover uh, to get our proper. Uh, we'll do our proper CO level. We have a manufacturer, so it's specified range. Uh, once we 
change our set point and test the series. And uh, that's just basically hold the set down. And then that's T1. There's your set point at 140. Hit the set button again. And then I can increase or decrease my set point here. Once I'm done, um, I can elect to exit out of this. Um, or I can just wait 15 seconds and it will revert back to uh, the main uh, control. So we'll just wait 15 seconds. We'll let it revert back. And then again, we'll see our set point and we'll see what our water temperature actually is in the tank. So, uh, there are a couple sensors in here, down in here. So we're, uh, we're actually picking up temperature at the lower end of the tank and at the uh, lower the mid and then the mid to high end of the tank as well. So we came back to our control here at 136. So uh, the other thing we would do here is Set our time and date, so we're going to hold our little clock button down uh, for three seconds. And there's our hour, we would set that. Uh, once that's set, we set our minutes, we set our day. And then again, we'll wait about 15 seconds and it'll revert back to the main home screen. Other than that, there's not really much else that we be doing to start upon this. I guess the only other thing I should add is our burden information. All uh, over the required by PCI scan, uh, PCI device, and that scan. So there's all the things about it. Uh, there are, oh, there are a couple of resets. Real quick. Um, so you've got a reset here, a manual reset. If you hit high limit, uh, which is set for 200 from the factory. Uh, this operating stat is set for 150 in case our main operating control, our digital control fails. Uh, this, would, this would be our secondary control for 150, and then if we, we fail here, um, we go to 200. That guy back there with the little indicator light on, that little board, that's our uh, low water cutoff board back there. And then there's one more reset, uh, there's a reset on the fire eye control. Uh, that's right here. So for some reason, um, we fail to produce flame. Again, we have the main gas on the next makes no call. Uh, you'll have to push the reset, you'll get an audible alarm. Um, so you'll be able to clear the alarm by resetting it, and, uh, and then it'll, it'll take back off again. So, um, that's it uh, for today. Um, hope you guys learned something. Thanks again, appreciate it.